Stomach ulcers are thought by many to be caused by irregular eating habits, but scientists have implicated a bacterium, Helicobacter pylori, in this painful condition, as well as several other gastric disorders. It may not be as popular as COVID-19, Ebola, malaria in this part of the world, does in spite of its presence in over 50% in human population globally, with varying levels of severity. Some research has been conducted on this disease in Europe, but now some African medical experts are studying it independently due to the African peculiarities. They come together from across the continent under the group African Helicobacter and Microbiota Study Initiative. Helicobacter pylori is a gram-negative bacterium that infects and colonizes the human gut. The pathogen has been implicated in an array of gastric disorders, including peptic ulcer diseases, gastritis, gastric mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue lymphoma, and gastric adenocarcinoma. It was discovered by Warren and Marshall in 1982. The incidence of H. pylori infections, as it is also called, is said to be as high as 80% on the continent. And these experts are certain that localizing the research will profile needed continent-wide solutions. I know of a case of infection that was uh, taken to Harley Street in the uh, UK. And Harley Street is one of the best places in the UK. And the person came back, still not treat, well treated. And when he went to loot and got to the, the people who are Africans, they gave the right kind of treatment. And within one week, what we took to Ali Street was treated in Nigeria, which means Africans will know the problem of African better. We gathered here to offer some solutions customized to African countries. For example, uh, the economy is, in Africa is different from the economy in Europe and America. Also, the antibiotics present here may not be uh, the same like in America or in Europe. Some antibiotics are available in America and Europe and they are not available here. So, uh, some antibiotics are effective in our population in Africa that may not be effective in uh, Europe and America. Considering its danger, the researchers are planning to engage locals rather than wait the cases are reported. Any infection that will cause uh, cancer may be termed a killer disease. And even if peptidase may not kill directly, but the complications of it, that H. pylori causes, may kill the patient too. For example, upper gastrointestinal bleeding. Those who have peptidase disease from H. pylori may have upper GI bleeding, in which they may vomit blood, stool blood, and this is really life-threatening. This is a good start. Uh, we have a long way to go. There's much to understand about this bacteria, uh, particularly in our context in Africa. Um, so hopefully it won't be too long before uh, the community sees the benefit. But I think it starts with understanding what we are dealing with, which up until this point we really don't know. We have very sparse data and our work and our mission is to try and understand this better. Members of the board are sworn in under various subunits of epidemiology, diagnosis, indications and prevention, as well as treatment working groups. Timothy Crown at Derby Bay, Channels Television News.